contracts. Ah, he's already here. Always Steve A. It's not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor. It's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. That'll fuck the world with family and worst friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role. Here, whatever, dog. It's either this or Dylan dying back. Oh, I dropped my phone two times. Wow, that's just horrible. <laughs> What is this thing? Oh. I want to get two thousand profits. Really? I'm gonna get a profit of 2,000. Those directions, bitch.
Oh, my gold just went down. What's this? 30? Wow, the insurance went up. Where's the cat?
the stun gun. It's fun and it's unlimited. So that's not cool anymore, and the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So, lame, all right? You're just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other, and you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off-topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, what the fuck? I will get a job, and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Size which way? I'm probably gonna be dead in a couple of weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? It's great catching up with you two, dude. Yeah. Hey, how's your mother? Well, she's great. No, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring, and compassionate man is great and all. What's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right. I can take a fucking hit. Let's go. Get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort a star. I think mom's a bean machine. So, what's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know, stuff? No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been... It's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I, you know... There they are, outside. Fabian, too? Oh, what a treat. Guess we better walk up to him. Got Fabian. Come on. The planet has been snuggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more boy. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Sure, sure, man. Um, hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Come on. Hey, Jimmy. This is true. A picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unipod on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! 
buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your cheese as well as your digestive tract. I ain't gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. But, but what are you doing? There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I want it. I mean it to say to you, I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. So I'm gonna say... Shut up! I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on. Get up, you idiot. Yoga? No. No yoga. All right. You know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on. Oh, let's do it. Wait. I think Tracy's over at the tattoo. That was so not my fault. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh, God, no. That Lazlo guy's there. Lazlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her candy out. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's first eardrum is more than okay with me. Now, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Here's the tattoo shop. I'm looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen. Babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes, even if whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So, you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes, and if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the golf fun. Oh. Whoa, whoa Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here's gonna have a little cosmetic for the doctor. No! Please. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stay put, you lame ass mark! But sure, kid! What? <laughs> You're not gonna get me a Prince Albert, are you? <gasps> ah, you gave me a pouty fucking hipster! Ah! Ah, uh, you fucking prick! Jesus! Here, let's get rid of this. Ah! Oh, my God! Uh, Papa Bear! What's Daddy number two going to think about this? Uh, uh, let's not get him involved. Uh, let's do... Uh, that, that's, a, that's a clean needle, right? I don't need more hep C. Uh, 